Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we are going to be working on the Four Seasons Bash Layout using the Four Seasons Summer Paper by Kelly Baxter Fitzgerald. This is layout number two and it is the smaller version um, from the 12 by 12. So let's get scrapping. Okay, we have a fun layout today. I am gonna be working on the summer layout number two. I know this is like a never ending cycle, right? Now, I really love this paper. This was the one I couldn't wait to get to and it took kind of the longest to get to it. So I am working on this one, of course, with some changes. I am doing a flip flap here and I'm going to attempt to do a four by six, a four by four and a three by four. And I'm hoping that I can get this to work right. So I have the bits here. I've got flowers here. I have other pieces here. I just, I do have a ton of pictures. So, and you might notice, look at my new desktop. It is, I can never say the word and I'm so sorry. It's A-C-I-A-C-A, -A -A, I believe is how you spell it. But it is a butcher block tabletop. And we bought, um, what was it? six foot by 25 inches and so now things won't fall down in between but I keep you know playing with it because it feels so good um I love this one we deb debated of course between birch and this color the birch just looked a little more orange now this looks kind of orangey too we use Howard's um it's a mineral oil beeswax compound thingy on it and um, just kind of brings out the beauty beauty in the wood um, and this one is a little more patchworky than I of course would have gone for but as you can see it is really really pretty all the different woods on here different cuts or whatever they do um, it is an inch and a half thick it is absolutely fantastic and again the best part is well I'm probably not the best part but one of the best parts for me is stuff will not fall down between these little slats Okay, so this is what I have for the flip flap part, not these little bits. Let me set those over here. I did cut around these again. I haven't um, fluffed them yet, um, but we can do that. And I've got more, of course, in here that we can use. Okay, so I was kind of thinking, and I was playing with this, of just putting this on this wood grain paper. I know not very much of it shows at all. And the reason why is because I liked the other side and I'm kind of incorporating craft. Well, I am incorporating craft as the um, uh, photo mats into this one. So this one only has white daisy and then the wood grain paper. And on the other side is this green. And I thought, you know what? We've got this little strip here. I haven't been able to use those and I really like them. So we could do this of course i think i'm putting that on upside down let's see here um it goes this way so it would be here i'm gonna assemble this and hopefully not rip it apart later that's that's the key is i'm hoping this works so cross your fingers for me okay you don't see much of that band right there so we've got that. I do not have the flip or the magnets in these yet. I will add those later when I know that it works. Okay, so we've got Jason, Miranda, and Lizzie on that one, and Jason and Miranda on this one, and then across from this one. So the next layer would be them all three on these teeter totters. And then the next one we go to another piece but I wanted to see so this one would go here this would go here I want oops I <laughs> know sorry okay there so I want to keep this piece right down here at the bottom because I thought it would be kind of cool to be able to see that and then if there's any like words or anything I want to put on I can do that I wonder if I should maybe omit this, but I thought it was kind of cool to have. So we're going to run with it and possibly change things later. 
<laughs> yeah, bear with me. Okay. So there's that. And then this one is this picture. So I want to keep it up here so you can't see it down here. And I'm sure people have done this a lot and have more experience with it. I will um, try to gain more experience in doing something like this. I've always kind of shied away from this type of a thing. Oops, I don't want to put that in here. Because of the fact that I'm not as good at it. And um, I always worry that I'm going to disappoint. So for this one, I'm going to do my best and try. And I think I want to put this up here. Okay, so it would go like this. And then this one. So we've got that up there. And this picture here. So we can put this here. And this one isn't as important as um because it, it'll be on the bottom side of the flip flap you won't see it as much it just looks all crooked i guess i shouldn't be trying to assemble it on top of another flip flap right okay it still looks a little on the crooked side i think it's this piece is crooked just enough to drive me nutters let's see here actually use my mat for what we need to use it for Ugh. except that I then keep moving it there we go that looks better okay I like it okay so that and then that and then this bottom one oh that little strip was for here you know what we've got let me go into this bucket. I'm sure that there's more in here. This is where I just kind of tossed all my little bits. There's one. Okay. Because I wanted to make sure that I had um, every little piece in case I needed it. And so I didn't have to like waste a whole big sheet for a little piece. Okay, so then this one at the bottom goes in this piece. Oh, wait a minute here. Got that. And then we're going to have this in this one. Okay. So that's looking pretty cool. Okay. Then we've got this one. So down here, oops. I want to put this and then we can put this piece and I'm going to leave the back of this side uh, plain. I'm going to go down a little bit. I think that that's still within yeah, that would still be covered. It's got this green on it, which is nice. I'm going to put journaling of the day there. I can't remember the name of this park, and that's one of the reasons why I, I did this. I need to ask Jace, because he would remember. I kind of remember the location. So I wonder, I kind of am not loving this big gap here, but if I put something there, that would look better. So let's look some look at the sticker sheet and see if there's something that would look um, purposeful. Uh, this one's kind of missing a lot. I don't feel that happy. I just, I'm not sure I want the, oh, the full of love. I, I kind of like the full of love. Let's go with that. I'm going to grab the close to my heart pop tape. And put that all on there because it is just slightly smaller. While I was recouping on my desk because I had to wait, I wanted a bunch of stuff. That is permanent now. <laughs> it's not coming off. Um, I did get to do a little task I've been debating about doing. 
And I thought, you know what, why not do it? Let's look and see what this looks like real quick. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. Okay, we're doing it. Um, I went through and labeled flowers and put only flowers in here. And my second drawer down also has flowers. And so all of my flowers are there. Then I have my hearts. Oops. There's this little leaf that's been flying around. Set that up there. And these hearts. Oh, there's one. Hearts. And then the bottom one of those drawers is arrows. I kind of mixed a few of them just because I have very little arrows and I only wanted one tray. And then the stars, lots of stars, which I didn't know I had so many. And then these, plenty of room for more. And I have one drawer of buttons. So I've got the wood grain, wood, um, the thicker wood, mm, thicker wood. Um, then the white acrylic and the black acrylic. And then I have just assorted things. These are from my um, Stampin' Up! days. These are from, the butterflies are from In Full Bloom. Um, and these right here, I can't remember what they're from, but I know it's in this bin that I haven't, whoops, been able to go through yet. I haven't finished it. So I know it's stuff from that bin. Let me set that up there. And then I have this one that I started. Here's all the bigger arrows and some labels. I'm not sure these will stay here. These are some pieces that I got um, in, oh, what is it? The It's like the Picture My Life stuff that um, Stampin' Up! does. And they come with some little wood pieces and you know, like this hello and the little one. And so I have those and I thought, you know what? I just want to save them. And then I also have this whole one, aside from this drawer that goes in the bottom. Let me set that over there. So I have this one that's all empty. And I can put whatever I want in there. And I have moved my alphabets. Well, I guess move that tray back. The other one I didn't resort was the brackets. Those are all pretty big, so I think I can leave those there. But I put all my alphabets jumbled. Um, I wasn't using them as much the way they were so maybe I'll use them more that way and maybe I'll use more of my little bits in these containers because let me set this here let's see here I did put my adhesive up there too I don't know if I tip I'll tip this a little bit so this is what the drawer looks like all sealed it's just one of those jewelry ones I think I've shared bits about it in the past they're really cool I have three of them um, and the last one I bought did have, um, this style drawer. There was two of this one. Was there three? Let me see. No, nope, there was two of that. And then one that this is a full drawer that's open. And these are the negative spaces. See, there's, st there's stuff in here to those other ones that you could use like as a stencil. You could put them on something. Um, I haven't decided if I'm even going to ever use them. Here's a banner from that baby one I have. And then I've got close to my heart stuff in here. There's, um, what does this say? The good life. And I've just got a bunch of stuff that I've still got to go through, but I'm in a great spot. So thank you for letting me share that because I really do like those. And I'm happy that I just sit there and I sorted everything out. Um, but I'm really liking this. So this is turning out cute. Oops. Put this little guy back. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside. I've got my trimmer down there, and it's not wanting to let me put something else there because it's like, I've got my space. Stay out of it. Oh, let's put this adhesive up there so that I have it if I need it. And then we have this. So on this one... I have this picture, this is the only picture I had just of Miranda Big. Um, well, I guess solid of her in it, because everything else, I mean, she's kind of solid here, but it's not the greatest, and I liked how spunky she was here. This is also one of my favorites, where she's sticking her head through the 
the little slats, and then I have her climbing up onto the slide. So we've got teeter-totter slide, merry-go-round, and then this was one of those um, bridges that kind of scoops. So we've got that. And over here, I was kind of thinking of splitting these up and sticking things in between. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try it. Um, let's set those on the sticker sheet there and let's get to some of these sizes here. So I do have three of the banners and then we've got the sticker banners on one of the sheets. I have two of these at four. I believe they will end up being by eight. Let me look at this. Uh, eight and a fourth. So this, this is possibly already eight and a fourth, yeah. Oh wait, it's eight and a half. So it'll end up being eight and a fourth. And we're gonna go the same route we did on the last one. This one is three. So it'll end up being three by eight and a fourth. And then we'll put this piece on here. So it'll be very similar to the one I have covered up right over here. Let me grab it. It's slippery. It's on my glass mat, so it's sliding around. So it'll be very similar to how we did here. And um, <laughs> I have the little posting note that Nancy gives me that says summer 2008 here on there so she can have that and know when this was. Because I started putting them in one of the baskets all, or plastic containers all together. And then she's like, oh, what year is this? And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I felt kind of bad. But I think we figured it out for the few that I had done already. And now I will just put that post, you know, right on those layouts and make it a lot easier for her. Mm, I really like this flower here and this one. So let's put those down lower because they are going to be hidden once I put other stuff on there. I'm just going to really quickly assemble these. I've been trying to not waste your time with assembling and I tend to then have an issue with the hookup of getting back onto the camera. So I'm just going to assemble this real quick because it shouldn't take very long. You know, it's, it shouldn't, it's going to, but it shouldn't, right? It's all because I want that one flower to show. There we go, much better. Let's put this here, sort of. I really love this paper. It is so bright and cheerful. And if you've got some bright and cheery layouts coming up, you know, that you've got to do and you have some of this paper, pull it out. I'm talking to use this paper because it is amazing. It's a really good feel good paper. I mean, all of them are pretty in their own right, but I really am enjoying the, um, the summer because it's just very bright and cheerful. And then I am planning to put this so that it is closer to here. And then this is open, you know, all around the edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna set this here for right now and let's assemble this side. Should go completely and utterly the same way. Ah, I still don't like these flowers looks kind of upside down and I'm going to be okay with it because I really want those flowers to show, you know, all for a silly little flower. I think I need to stamp some flowers in this color in this Capri because it's so pretty and I'm so drawn to it. It, it. I know why it reminds me of some flowers James and I had gotten. We got daisies and then we put them in um, it was water, uh, water with food coloring and then the color goes into the flower. I forgot about that. I wonder if I have pictures of it because those, oh, I want to make sure this lines up. Um, those were really, it was one of the science projects we did when I did kindergarten with him and we had so much fun and I bet that's one of the huge reasons why I'm like, I love this flower is it does remind me of that daisy. So silly how things remind us of certain things, isn't it? 
Okay, and I'm totally wasting the edge of this paper um, and recycling it kind of. No, I'm, this one's going in the trash. It's got adhesive on it, but I'm wasting it. So I feel kind of bad, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't have to save every bit, right? Okay, so this one, we want to start it a little before that. That looks about right. Okay, so that is our base. And then the pictures, and I was, I was kind of putting those up top and then these. But then I kept thinking maybe this should be down at the bottom. I think this should be at the bottom. I think it stands out better with this and on the white. Okay. And let's grab these little guys back. And... Let's see here. I do like this live in the best summer life. And I was kind of thinking of putting that over in here. But maybe it would be... A good one over here. Let's grab some pop tape that I forgot to pull out. But luckily we have my drawer back in place. <laughs> we had to remove pretty much everything. There was sawdust everywhere on my desk. And so to keep it out of some of the, the things I didn't really want it in. Oh, maybe up here. Um, we had to remove stuff. And then just to put the desktop in, we had to remove my my little um, drawers over here. So it was kind of nice because I was able to pull things out, clean things off, dust things. Oh my goodness, the dust. Isn't it so funny how much dust we get? I was not expecting my desk to be that dusty. And then the sawdust. <laughs> so luckily the little tool my husband got me for Christmas came in very handy. It's a little shark hand vac. And I used that sucker for the last couple of days. Every time he would drill a hole, I had a, a, the vacuum right behind him. <laughs> I'm sure he was getting tired of hearing the vacuum. Let's see if I can get this to, to look kind of what I was thinking. I don't know. I never know. Let's see here. I'm going to crimp these little, little petals. Yeah, since I cut these down, I have been so much happier with them because they're such a cute little flower. And I love the colors here because of her red shirt. She really looked good in red. She still does, but she really looked good in red here. I kind of like that. Really simple, and you yet you can see the pictures still, and then you've got a little bit of an embellishment. I love this. Okay. Cool. I am going to go ahead and adhere this one and then we can play with this other side and the flip flops. So let's see, I might be putting this down a little further, which is okay. And I have a few glue dots left. I need to get some more. It's on my to do list. I have so many things on my to do list though right now. Okay, where did I set them? There they are. But I feel like I got, oh, I know, I had to get a drum for my, um, my printer upstairs. <laughs> and uh, it was, it's been on my list for a few days. And I finally told Jace today, I was like, I got to get this. And he's like, okay. I'm like, okay, I'm getting it. It's 92 bucks, $92 for a printer drum for my, I think it's a laser printer that has toner and everything. It's it's cool, but at the same time, it's like, youch. Least you only have to buy it about once a year. That helps. If I had to buy it more often, I think I would, I would be even more like, Ugh. do you know how many scrapbooking items I can get for that money? And that's how my, my mind thinks on this. I'm just going to butt that right up to that. And then over here. I know now my microphone is over on this side. Oh, we bought um, 
these really cool posts that are in my wall just up below my um my and my unit up here and so one has a camera and I got two new lights so it's a little brighter doing a little better I was very happy with that and um, we were able to put my microphone on the opposite side so I kind of am working opposite right now I know I'll get used to it quickly but just to warn you if I'm like looking back and forth my microphone is now over here and so I have um, I'm tending to set stuff more over on this other side I'm learning the new way of doing things. I love this page. I absolutely love this page. I want to put some more stuff on here though, but what? What, what, what? Hmm. I think I want to put the let's play down here. This little red one, let's push that down a little more. Yeah, I like that. It stands out really well on that too. Um. I actually was thinking more of, oh, there's a little adhesive. Oops. One of the littler flowers. Or even this size. I do have some that are trimmed. I could put some up in here. Let's see here. And you know what? I've got the close to my heart. I like this round size quite a bit. So when I kind of look at these and I'm like, oh, the little round one, that's why, because I like how round these are. I like how square these are for other reasons too. Mm. I'm going to put that over a little bit. Since I'm using craft, um, the adhesive will stick down a little better later at first it kind of allows you to pick it up a little more than some of the other papers because it's got a different texture to it which is probably one of the reasons why I, I like it because it's very forgiving and then later on it'll be like okay we're here don't worry I like this I am loving this this is looking amazing. I think I want to put this down here. So it kind of flows like we sprinkled flowers. Okay, I'm going to take this up completely and set it aside because this one is going to take a little more of my energies. Okay, let's see here. Pull up the sleeves. You know you're getting in good when you're pulling up. Oh, I forgot about berries. Um, when you're pulling up your sleeves, right? Okay, we're going to put this down first and we're going to put the flip flaps on top of this in a bit. Okay. And this again, I have forgiveness here. So where is that one piece? Let's grab this because I kind of wanted to mimic this. I really liked how this felt, um, at least the banner part. Well, I'm not sure I'll be able to mimic a lot of the flower part but the banners I can. And I did flip these pieces for some reason. Why did I do that? I don't know, I did it on both, so we're good. <laughs> it's just what happens, right? And this one, about right here. And then I'm gonna slip this one kind of, oops, no, there we go. Just kind of under here, and I think I wanna stick it out a little more. Okay. And then we've got these three. Oops. And we put, oh, I'm missing one. I better not put that on the desk. I am missing one of the flag ones. So let's go back in my box of fun. It's one of this kind. Here's one. I have so many of these strips because we have the, um, uh, the, this actually this page let's cut this better there we go um I had all the strips at the bottom and that was the only thing I, I couldn't do but I might challenge myself later on not right now later on to do something more strippy like that just to see if I can do it because I'm curious 
Let's see here that. Okay, and so this one, let's put that up here. It's blue. And here, I'm going to move that. And the orange one. Okay, so let's put it oops, straight. The orange one here. This blue one in. And the red one kind of there. Maybe up a little bit. Yeah, I could do that. No, not the blue one there. Not the blue one there. That looks better. Okay, so there's my little flags. We've got a couple that stick out. You can ruffle these up because I do like that look. And before I go any further, I'm going to start attaching the flip flaps. And I need to start with the top one first. So it's got to go in order, and they're going to go here. So I'm going to leave this here. And I saw somebody kind of pull that out. It's not working as well for me, but they're more coordinated than me. <laughs> Bear with me. And this is just keeping onto my arm. It's so staticky. Okay. I'm going to turn this around now that I've taken this off. We're going to work upside down because I can see what I'm doing then. And let's just, no, 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 don't stick. Okay, let's start about right there. Okay. And then we'll just put that one on next. We'll just keep going. And it's easy enough to add magnets in later if you need them. Like I said in the past, I've found when I'm working on Nancy's 12 by 12 layouts, I don't find I need the magnets, but when I'm working on my size, they seem to really not close as well. And so the magnets come in handy for me. Not that I won't put them on Nancy's as well if needed, um, but I'm just finding that they don't appear to be as needed. Okay, we're just going to have to leave it up there. Let's see how we did. Yeah, look at that one. It's, it's like, no. <laughs> a, a magnet will help that quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to flip all that up, and we're going to put this picture down here. And it's already got the craft for the photo mat. And this one is 5 by 7. The only thing is, is do I want, no, I like how that's framed. <laughs> Stay down. Okay, now we can decorate a little bit. And let's see here, we've got, we've got some leaves. Maybe coming up higher, maybe. Can't pick anything up. Um, definitely come down over here. We can use some berries in this one. We could probably even use, oops, that's right, it's on the inside. We could have used that on the outside. Um, maybe use some berries in there too. I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't on that one just because I don't want to take those apart. But I am happy I was able to get this to lay um, kind of the way I wanted it to. Not, um, you know, not seeing the picture bottoms and having it look intentional like this. I mean, yes, I created it to look intentional. Or maybe I, I'm saying the wrong word, sorry. Um, I wanted it to look cool. That's all. That's where I'll leave it at. Okay, let's see. So flowers, I could do that. Yeah, I chose the flowers today that um, were cut a little bit off so that I was saving the ones that were cut really nice for times when I didn't need to do anything to them. 
that's a, a good way of using the flowers and not having them be so, um, like Nancy spent all this time die cutting these for me and, uh, I want to make sure that I use them appropriately for her too. Let's see here, we got that little flower. What do we think? I like it. It's simple, which is good. It's the way I want things on this one. Although this is extremely white up here. Huh. It's going to be a little too white. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I like it. Having the little tab up there. And I like that it's offset down here, even though it needs to come up a smidge. <laughs> okay. Woo. Come on, little guy. There we go. I think I like it. <laughs> hey, why not? It's color. It looks good. And then we've got some of these little flowers too, maybe. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this. Let's grab a few glue dots. Okay. It looks like those are kind of in there with the adhesive pretty good. So I'm just going to slide some glue dots in here. And do that and then attach them to my hand of course and let's see we've got one glue dot on this one come on go there we go just kissing that up to it and I think I want to do I want lower over on this side I don't want it as tall because I don't have as much height needed on this page this has got so much height to it Grab that one, and we'll put that there. And then this one. This one I can pop, because it's off to the side and not involved in all this mess over here. I'm really liking that. It's very simple. I love that the... The best summer memory, that is perfect. Do I wanna... and I think I like the blue and maybe um, a little leaf. Oh, I like that. Yes, I know I'm getting a little crazy about these because I'm having so much fun. This paper is amazing. I don't, I think that this paper, there is some left. If there is, there's not much. So I would grab it as quick as you can. Because it's not going to stick around. There's um, new stuff coming. Lots of new stuff coming. And starting April 1st through, is there 30 days in April? I think there's 30 days in April. We are having Cardstock Carnival, which I was sad because I it was supposed to be in March in my memory banks, but now it is in April, and hopefully this will continue to be a yearly thing because we all need tons of cardstock. I do not want that there. Let's pull you out. Okay. Let's grab the sticker sheet and take a look and let's just stop looking at this one. James is in the bath and he is over there yelling. I think he might actually be yelling for me. I don't know. <laughs> I'll go see what he wants in a little bit. Oh, totally fun. That looks kind of cute. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so cute. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this one is so funny to me because they're looking at each other and just, you know, kind of doing what kids do. 
Let's see. Oh. I like that on there. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. Up here. Miranda loved being on the merry-go-round as long as she was behind the bar. <laughs> and then Lizzie was there because I know they were starting to move this and she's like holding it, holding on. So Lizzie had to kind of come around to help her out. Because she was just like, mm -mm, not going to happen. I think I'm going to put the green and the yellow of these. I love that I have these still because then I can use them in places. It's wonderful. Let's see here. We don't have anything on this one. Oh, they're just plain. Okay. I shouldn't I shouldn't say that they're plain. I don't like that. Because mama might hear me if she's watching my video and be like, why aren't my kids in bed? They are in Barbados for a little under a week. Having fun in the the sun. <laughs> totally having fun in the sun. So I'll get to do Barbados pictures soon. Isn't that exciting? Okay, I'm going to slip that there, and, oh, I know what we haven't put on. I know, another sticker sheet. I got sticker sheets coming out my ears. We haven't put any of these on. Let's put those real quick. There's a couple on that one, and then this bag is empty. What's this one? Little ones. Okay. Let's grab this, and... Put a little one there. A little one here. A little one there. And let's put a couple little ones here and there. And then we'll go for the big ones. I do really like how these gold little bits are um, looking with these. Put one down there and put one up there. I might need a couple more, but we'll see. <laughs> put one on that side, and now let's put this one on this side. I like to do that when they are not a perfect fit because then it looks intentional. Um, if they're a perfect fit, of course, they cover really nicely, but when they aren't a perfect fit, Sometimes it looks a little odd if you put it in the center. And so I think with these, they're looking really good um, being off-centered. So you see the yellow, you've got the little gold there, and it just kind of works. Um, I think to finish this off, I've got to put one there. And let's take a look. Do we need any more? I don't think so. I think it looks good. Put that in there. Okay, so let's show this. I'm really happy with this layout. And we've got the flip flap, and it works and functions. Journaling room. And then this one. I really love these. Oh, goodness. So happy with them. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe. If you would like to see more of my videos, leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.